Should we just start? Start. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we are, I guess, starting a podcast. Um, yep. I am Ariana. I'm Wendy. Um, and we are with Bill Medical. <laughs> So, Wendy, you could just, like, talk about yourself and yeah. your time with Bell Medical. Yeah, no, it's it's fun to sit down and just talk about things that we're passionate about with mm-hmm. Bell Medical. And I think that's yeah. the purpose of the podcast. And hopefully speak to others that maybe want to know more about us or what we do or how it's impacted our lives or how it can impact theirs. Right. Possibly. Um, I, it's, I'm going on my seventh year with Bell. That's medical. crazy. It's just crazy. Yeah. Um, our second clinic was opened in Idaho Falls. It started in St. George. And I w- the opportunity was put in front of me to be the treatment coordinator and to open that clinic. And I was not really sure about that. Yeah. And so I took a trip to St. George and I watched a procedure. And I was actually amazed at how comfortable the procedure was. Yeah. It was like, right? Yeah, I remember my first time and I was like, oh, like, interesting. Like, I don't know. Because I think... A little bit, you're just like, it seems so foreign. So, like, yeah. I don't know what to expect. Right. Um, but, yeah, when I went in and she was just, like, awake and laughing and talking, yeah. and I was like, oh. And the music was on. Yeah. And it was yeah. comfortable. Right. It was a fun environment. I was actually surprised at the feeling. Mm-hmm. And that was that was the first thing that caught my interest. So I was like, okay, this is, like, a little bit like a dental procedure, but even yeah. more laid back in some ways. Yeah. Um, but they were getting something accomplished that was – impossible to get done like in my mind I thought other than just like a really sterile like of course we're sterile but like a really tough environment that was Mm -hmm. more surgery like yeah um and so like Grey's Anatomy yeah like (laughs) the lights and and all the things and I so I was like okay this is interesting that we can change people's bodies like this yeah so um and then secondly sitting in a consultation I I think I had prejudged myself and like I think had been raised around an environment where maybe if you decided to do something to your body, like it was judged or looked down upon for sure. Yeah. And so I, you know, I think that for me, I judged it a little bit in the beginning. And I was like, I don't know if I want to sit down with this until I sat in the first consultation and I was completely humbled. Yeah. And surprised at like, first of all, the brave vulnerability of someone sitting there saying, I've never really loved this part of my body and or I have but it's changed and I can't I've tried everything and I think that's the biggest thing we hear is I've tried everything yeah right yeah and then we get to offer a solution that isn't a gimmick and that actually works Mm -hmm. yeah I love that yeah and I feel like just like our whole goal at Bell is just to like make you feel comfortable Mm -hmm. comfortable with us comfortable with yourself yes um and I have kind of like a similar story when I got hired because when I, I was just applying for jobs. I didn't even know what I was applying for. Um, I was pro- applying for graphic design jobs. Um, and I got a call for this and I was like, oh, like liposuction. Like, I don't, I don't think right. I'm going to even do like the, the name itself. Kind yes. of is like off for and, some reason. And my husband was like, oh, just do it. It's good practice. And after like my interview, I was like, wait, this is kind of cool. Like yeah. I kind of, so I was intrigued. And then I actually came in and met with you. Okay. Um, and I remember just like feeling like, like the purpose of Bell was to help people feel good. Oh, that's right. And Idaho Falls. Yeah. 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 yeah and so right. I think that kind of just changed my mindset. Um, I right. would just, it's not all about, you know, like, let me look like a Barbie. It's yeah. about, let me feel good in my skin. Yes. Um, and kind of as I've grown in my role from graphic designer to brand manager, um, Just like figuring out how we can communicate that to people without it feeling like gimmicky. Yes. Because, yeah, we really do like want to make you feel better about yourself. Right. That was my passion when I was given the opportunity to do more leadership with this company. Then I realized, okay, if I get to put a stamp on this, then I need I want to make sure it's an environment like no others, no other out there Mm -hmm. where people can come in with their insecurities, vulnerabilities and they get to just sit with a very um, incredibly warm person that just sits and listens to their story. Mm-hmm. And then just they together decide, is this a match for me? Right. Because it isn't necessarily a match for everyone. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Like we we talked a little bit about this earlier, and that is 
we're not telling you you have to come to Bell to be beautiful or right. to be better or to be anything. We're just saying if you're looking for a solution for an area of your body that is stubborn and is not doing the things that you want it to do with the things that you try to get through diet or exercise, that we're going to offer you something that works in an environment that is kind and loving and works right. to you. Yeah, because if there's something like if the way that you feel about your body is affecting how you're living your life, right? then yeah, you should be able to change it. You yes. know, if that's a change that you want to make, like we're here and yeah. we're here to help you. Yeah. Um, it's courage. Yeah, it, it really is courage. And like you said, I think a lot of us have these like preconceived notions of like, oh, if I get work done, like that's so vain. Yep. Or and and even now i feel like on social media it's like body positivity you shouldn't want to change yourself you need to accept yourself exactly as you are mm -hmm. and like yes we want you to accept yourself we want you to love yourself but if you have to like change something like it's okay well, you I know as human beings change isn't a bad thing yeah. like we do so many things to change our minds to learn to grow we you know, we, we we go to school, we have a hobby, like all of these things in how so we are as human beings. Right. Something um, our treatment coordinator here in Draper says is like, you go to the orthodontist and you get braces to straighten your teeth. Right. Like that is not like a necessary procedure, but it makes us feel better about the way that we look. Yes. And it, so, yeah, I think it's very similar. I do too. And I think giving yourself, well, first of all, being really proud of yourself if you decide, hey, I'm going to go actually admit that there is a part of me that I want to make better. Um, what I love is watching the stories, the people that come and they are, I've, I've had people tell me I cried in the parking lot. I didn't want to come in. They come in, they have the conversation. We've made an environment that is inviting, that is warm, that is forgiving of all of our insecurities. Right. And um, they come in and then their journey with us. I mean, these people walk out with confidence and they dress differently and they hold themselves differently. And and that's when I knew I was in an environment that was actually an, a, a sacred opportunity because mm -hmm. who gets to work with people and their bodies? Like right. it's it's the hardest. Yeah, it's and such like a like a private personal thing, like mm -hmm. to you know, to have vulnerabilities about your body to to tell somebody like, hey, I really don't like this part of myself and right. I want to change it. Right. Um, and then to go through that process of doing it and yeah, to see like people change the confidence. I know like when I got married, I gained a bunch of weight. And um, since then, like I went on semaglutide, which is something else that we do, weight loss okay. injections. Um, yeah. Tell us about your, that journey. Yeah. Is, so and confidence. I'd love to hear I that. I feel like it, it was hard for me to start it because I was just like, I need to love myself. I need to not want to change myself. And, you know, yeah. But I was like, I don't know, 60 pounds heavier than, you know, when I had gotten married. Um, so, and it was just like, you know, like lots of different stresses and jobs and COVID and, you know, like yeah. everything. Um, and so I kind of just wanted to get back to like what I was used to, you know, like I wanted my clothes to fit again. I wanted to like feel confident. Um, and so I started doing it with my husband and he lost a bunch of weight and he was you know, I feel like as men, he's like, he yeah. had no worries. Yeah. Like, he's like, you yeah, might want to lose weight. It'll be diet and it's gone. Yeah. 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 Like, and he just like no emotional, like drawbacks, you know, for him. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I ended up, I lost like 30 pounds in the mm -hmm. five months that I took it. And, and it was, it was just like, oh, like I want to go shopping. I want to, you know, buy a cute outfit because like, I feel good. Okay. Whereas before it was like, I don't want to try and look cute. I don't want people to think like, oh, like she's trying so hard and she's overweight and she looks bad. You know what I mean? Like so it's it, terrible to think. So you feel like your more authentic personality started to show yes, up. Yeah. Because of that. And it's, yeah. And it's just like, yeah, I feel like I can like be my confident self. Okay. And like people here have, you know, like I think some of the people have been like, oh, wow, like you look really good. But others have been like, Oh my gosh, like that is the cutest outfit. Or like you have been like looking so cute lately. Or yes. you just like seem so happy. And it and it does like it's just crazy. Like I, I've uh, gotten to see that with yeah, you. Yeah, like, it's it, crazy like how I feel about my body. Yeah. Like completely like changed wow. Just like my everyday life. Yeah. So because honestly, it really becomes a thing about us in the mirror mm -hmm. or us in our closet. And it's terrible because like really on the outside looking in most people give us a whole lot more um, I guess credit than we give ourselves, but at right. the end of the day, 
we have to go put on that pair of jeans or look in that mirror. And if we can look at it and and like what we see better, that's a win. And we'll, we're going to do life differently right. if we can do that. Or, or forget about it. Look in the mirror, know we're, we're good and walk out and just make yeah, it out everybody like else the rest the of the theme. day, right? It's like, I feel like before it was like, I was so concentrated on how I looked. Yeah. Because it was just like, I need to lose weight. I don't yeah. like how I'm looking, you know? Whereas now it's not like, oh my gosh, I look amazing. It's just like, it's free. It's not on my mind. It's free. Yeah. You get to take that off the shelf and just say, I'm done. I don't need to worry yeah. about it. Like I, yeah. I, I love that we can give people, it's a freedom, really. A freedom to be themselves in the most, authentic, beautiful way they possibly can. Right. And I think the other thing we we really focus on at Bell is like there are no body types. We right. love every body type. We are yeah. literally here to to look at a person, to talk to a person and say, tell me what bothers you and let's fix that. And it, it doesn't matter. We're not here to make this perfect protocol of what beautiful is mm-hmm. because every body is beautiful. Right. And that's real. And I feel like we live that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like, Bell. And I think it's just like a cool, like our team is just so authentic and so yeah. loving, you yes. know, like yes. somebody comes in and like you said, like we're the hardest on ourselves. Mm-hmm. Other people are going to, you know, like, like, oh, you think you need to lose weight? You don't need to lose weight, exactly. you know, like, yeah, it's not even like on other people's minds, whereas we think like everybody's looking at me. Our first worst, worst enemy, we really are. Yeah, but I think it is nice to have, you know, like a place, a team where, you know, like they will love you and they will understand your struggles. And, you know, like we're yeah. here to help our patients. And yeah, for sure. I think that's cool. Speaking of that, our medical assistants, we take it really seriously, the training, first of all, the hiring process. Uh, just like making sure they are emotionally intelligent, they're very empathetic, they're very mm-hmm. sympathetic, in addition to having the medical training, which is sometimes that's like a needle in a haystack. Mm-hmm. And we do that with everyone we hire. But that that said, we do those medical assistants and treatment coordinator, all, they are literally life coaches. We get to walk in someone's shoes through their story mm-hmm. and um, and see the transformation. And we take it seriously. It's why we guarantee results. And the, the the truth is, when I got to sit with the team early on and decide what, who is Belle, what is its heartbeat, what what makes a personality, we wanted to make it a place where people would leave better than we found them, mm-hmm. that they would walk out feeling the best version of themselves, and then they would be empowered to change their lives and others' lives. And that's the core of what we do. And if that can be done through a, an area of stubborn fat, right. so be it. You know, or if it can't, if, if it's, it's, it's more like the method, not the end goal, it is, right? Like, it is. so we want you to leave better than you came, but that doesn't mean skinnier. No. Nope. That means happier, more confident, happier. feeling good yes. about yourself. Yes. I think the vision of Bell to me is that we have now empowered someone to go change the world mm-hmm. and do it. And, and we all have, you know, influence around us. That's our world. And if you get a confident mom or a confident dad or a confident um, wife or, or a confident sister or brother or whatever, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. They will impact p- the people around them in a better way, which has impacts. It's it's a ripple effect. Yeah. I want to talk about that. So we had a patient, Shalise. Okay. Um, she, she's amazing. She's a hairdresser. Yeah, she, yeah, she, I met her. She's a she's mom. Awesome. She's just, we both got her hair done. Yeah, her, yeah so. she's so good. <laughs> yeah. So, um, she talks about that, about like how Belle helped her kind of show up for herself and for other people. Yeah. So I have a video clip that we could watch. Okay, let's do it. As a hairstylist, I get to speak with a lot of women in my chair daily, and I love it. I love working with women. I love hearing about their different experiences with health, with motherhood, with balancing work life, all of that. I love talking to women. And one thing I think that we unanimously as women um, – we're pretty hard on ourselves and we feel like um i think the world in general is getting better at it but we feel like we need to like qualify for like self-care or or we feel bad if we take too much time in any kind of self-care or too much money um whether it's you know um doing a procedure like i've done here at bell medical or if it's just changing your hairstyle you know it's like oh i feel bad you know my kids are you know with a nanny or i feel bad using 
But I think one thing, again, that the world is getting better at is evolving in evolving um, is just recognizing that it's not it's not selfish and it's not um, it's not a negative thing. I think about. um, Sorry, I didn't expect to get emotional. Um, I think about my mother and um, what an amazing job she did and what she deserves as a human um, and specifically as a woman. And um, I think she deserves and deserved past tense a lot more than she got. And I think part of it was just because she wanted to sacrifice and wanted to show up as a mom, whether that was you know, financially or time-wise. And um, I also worry a lot about if she was happy um, and if she felt confident in her body and how that made her feel and show up. And um, I am grateful that um, the world is shifting and that we are recognizing as women that it's okay to take time press. It's okay to take money. Um it's okay to have your kids go to a sitter so that you can um, go get your hair done or go get a procedure done or go get a facial or whatever it is that makes you feel better in your own skin because motherhood does take a lot out of us. And whether you're a mother or not, just life in general, women's bodies, whether it's um, hormones or thyroid or genetics, whatever it is that has you know, led you to want to to enhance or to um, return to what you had or whatever, um, it's okay. It's okay to want to be your best self and to want to show up that way. And I really hope that a message that I can give to my girls, because I've just got daughters and so I want to show up well for them. I want to express to them that it's okay to feel and look your best and that that does something too for you as you show up for other people around you, that as you fill up your cup, with um with health and with confidence and all of these things you therefore can show up better for other people um and so again talking to these women in my chair i just am grateful to have these conversations with these real women and these real mothers and to um just talk about the struggle that it is to take the time for yourself but i really believe that it's super important um in any regard however you need to take the time so that you feel that you feel whole and that therefore you can give to others because you're whole. So yeah. Okay. Amazing. Right. I, I just like everything she says is like, yes, yes. yes. You know, yeah, I yeah. love how she like talked about her mom and how she's like, I hope she was happy. I yeah. hope, you know, because she yeah. didn't like feel like she could take that time for herself or the money or anything yeah. else. Right. And it's like, I think one, you know, one of our core values is compassion. And it's like, we feel compassion for our patients, for each other. We want our patients to feel compassion for themselves. Right. You know, right. to allow themselves to, you know, to love themselves and to do things right. for themselves. Right. You know? I've had a lot of this very conversation with mo- moms that are saying, I don't know, like really, really not sure they're going to allow themselves. Like as if becoming a mother means they sacrifice who they are, who they were. Right. When in reality, giving back to themselves gives back to the people to their children and to everyone around them. Yeah. And so I love the way she talks about that. And I know that it made a big impact on her. I've heard her story. You've heard her story. Um, and so many others like her. Right. I just love that she was able to speak in a way that just really is mm-hmm. kind of representing so many people that we hear. Yeah. Right. Um, Glennon Doyle talks about um, kind of growing up, how she felt like she learned that motherhood was wearing a badge of sacrifice. You know, like okay. we have to... Yeah. You know, like do everything for our kids and we don't get time for ourselves. And that's I'm a good mom because, I, you know. Right. But as as she became a mother and she realized, like, I can't be a good mom if I'm not taking care of myself. Well, you said it best. Like you when you feel good about yourself, you don't actually think about yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's that is what's that, that concept alone. If you are, have insecurities, you're worried about those insecurities, making it you're unable to do the things that you could do. If you feel, look in the mirror, you feel good about yourself, that's it. And then the rest is about everyone else. Right. Yeah. Then why wouldn't you? 
you know, why have we thought so backwards on this? Yeah. Um, when in reality, just go face those insecurities. If 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 there are solutions of which we have the solution to steroid fat and to weight loss, we have real solutions. Right. Take some time, visit that, participate in those solutions, and yeah. then just go. Yeah, we are giving you the answer. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, we really are. And I do love that about us because this world has so much gimmicks. I mean, yeah, people have spent so much money on weight loss and it hasn't worked. Right. I think New Year's resolutions, you watch all of the, you know, I laughed. I walked into Target um, yesterday and, you know, we just got past Christmas where we were handed at the front door treat after treat and all these things. And now we're being handed. Well, now if you're a good person, you're going to be eating all this healthy food and these healthy vitamins and do, you know, and it's like, I feel like really it's like somewhere in the middle. Like it's not these extreme things. It's totally just trying to create a healthy, happy lifestyle Mm -hmm. um, so that we're not feeling stressed after Christmas to then take off the weight and and feel like, oh, we won't, we're not conforming to social norms if we're not participating. And yeah, because it's like December, like, let's be cozy. Let's watch a movie and eat cookies. And then immediately it's like January. You better not be eating a cookie if you're like, well, we'll be looking down on you, right? Yeah. Yeah. I I read this thing or maybe it was like something, you know, like we call it like trickle down therapy where somebody was like, my therapist told me this, but (laughs) it was like humans are the only species who, you know, like suddenly on January 1st feel like we need to make all these changes That's you know what I mean oh so true like yes. suddenly we're like oh like new year new me I need to you know change everything yeah I mean and, and I loved myself at Christmas but now I have to change everything yeah. yeah and I don't think that's what it's about I think like it's the small things are the big things and we talk a lot about this at Bell it, when we partner with patients we say what is one healthy habit you could add because we have found that patients that partner with us once we remove hormonal stubborn fat, fat that's not their fault, fat that is going against everything they're trying to do, if they add in a healthy habit, say they, they drink more water or they decide to walk a few times a week and they 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 don't quit that one healthy thing, right? that's the power. But I think sometimes we're so overwhelmed that we say, well, I've got to go join a gym now and I've right. got to do this and I've got to- I need to start meal planning. I need to, you know, like gluten-free, dairy-free, you know. all the f- Yes. And then all of a sudden you've completely failed before you started. Yeah. So I don't, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Mm-hmm. I just think adding in small things in small ways, but consistency is what matters. Yeah. I think that's really the key. Um, I think that everyone would like to have you participate in everything. Right. And I think we don't. I think it's really simple. And Bell is really simple. Yeah. We simply go in. We remove the areas of your body that you have been unable to get gone yourself or it jumpstarts your ability to do things differently. And I feel like that's like I love that phrase like jumpstart, you know, because we do like we partner with our patients. And because our goal is to help you be confident and happy, it doesn't end when they leave yeah. like the procedure you know like so I think it jump starts in a in the way that like yeah now we encourage you to walk you know like drink water but also like it's jump starting you know like how you feel about yourself and the confidence and everything we've been talking about you know right right so I do like that that I feel like it's like partner with us and like let's start this journey right yeah there's something empowering that and we've heard patients come in and say I'm able to wear something I was never able to wear before I mean that alone like how many things can you actually change in your life at time? There's certain things that you just, mm-hmm. okay, that this is what I have to deal with or work with. But when you can change something or get something back. Yeah, I lost, feel like that's what it is. I feel like so yeah. many moms, it's like, like I can finally, you know, wear that pair of jeans again. Or like um, we have somebody, Sarah, she's on semaglutide. Okay. I know you've probably seen her twice, yeah. but, and yeah, she was just like, I feel like me again. And I feel like that's just like, such an important thing you know because that's what we all want you know we want to feel good in our skin we just want to feel yeah feel better about who we know we can be or are and Mm -hmm. again like you know it's i think we all wish that fat removal or fat loss wasn't so powerful Mm -hmm. you know yeah i i think we do but it is and we how we're in a world where we're inundated with it and yeah but we're also in a world where we have solutions and I I love Bell for the reason that it is not an environment that will make you feel worse about yourself. In fact, in so many cases, we we work with treatment coordinators to say, just have a very good conversation. Mm-hmm. And 
and the rest will come. If it, if it's a match, it's great. If it's not, it was a good conversation and you mm-hmm. empowered and made someone feel better that day. And I mm-hmm. good them out. Yeah. yeah. And really, that's what it's all about. And I, I really do think that anyone that comes will feel that. It's not high pressure. It's simply just learning someone's story and then seeing if their story matches our story. Right. And going from there. Well, yeah, I'm just like, I'm glad that we could just have a conversation and like talk yeah, about Belle. And we, we talk about, you know, Belle has a heartbeat. Who is Belle? She, you know, like. Yeah. And so to kind of introduce Belle. You yeah. Know, to. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it honestly, it's a life changing place. But I think more than anything, it's so fun to work with human beings and being able to sit with them and and listen to their stories and then also just see what comes from the changes that they make with us it's just you can't, it can't you can't get a better job right it's so good yeah the relationships are amazing and just like knowing that like we are in the business of changing lives we are absolutely i will say that all day every day about bell medical bell medical is a really really unique place that changes lives all of us that from internal external from employees to the people that come partner with us like everyone's life has changed and I have so many examples of that and it's just so fun to celebrate that. I love it. Yeah. Thanks for watching with us. It's been so good, so good and so fun to talk about Bell Medical. Yeah. So you can look for more content like this, more podcasts, more interviews um, with not just us, but yeah. with our entire Bell team. So.